what's going on guys welcome into the channel in today's video we're going to be talking about how to avoid a lot of the issues that you may hear are coming with franchise mode in madden 23. in fact this tip can be used for games back before madden 23 and that is how to set up a franchise in a way that will avoid some of those issues I want to say real quick before I get into this little discussion topic that this is not an advanced level tip or trick or anything like that, and this is mainly going to be focused for solo franchises, just to help the individuals that don't have a whole lot of help or uh, additional time to be able to put a ton of work into franchise mode and have to keep rebuilding franchises because of server issues and stuff like that. This is meant to help those people out. You might find something useful here in this video. I do hope that you guys will stay tuned. If you guys want to support the channel in any type of way, you guys might want to go check out my Patreon. There's a link to that down in the description, and you guys can also support the channel and, and drive this channel's success by leaving a like on the video making sure that you are subscribed to the channel and leaving a comment down below. It could be anything, letting me know whether this was helpful to you, another video you want me to make, or anything of that nature. Without further ado though, let's talk about how to set up a solo franchise specifically to avoid a lot of the issues that you see common within the community. Franchise resets, server resets, franchises being corrupted and things like that. You can generally avoid a lot of those issues by setting up your solo franchise is outside of the servers and that means clicking on franchise mode here selecting a different option than most people normally do and I'm kind of prone to this even when I go to create a new league I typically just select from one of the first two options I either utilize the real life roster where it's at or I utilize whatever roster I have loaded and I do it in an online franchise mostly I do this in case I decide I want to add a second account to help you know, facilitate trades and things like that, or whatever I might be using a second account for, or I want to add a friend. But if you're playing a solo franchise right now with the state of Madden, it's kind of pertinent to avoid as many issues as possible. So in order to do that, you're generally going to be able to do that by starting an offline franchise. And I want to explain a little bit of the difference here and why this is going to make a difference for you. The main point here is that anytime you utilize one of these first two options, you're going to be saving your franchise to the cloud. You're going to be saving your franchise to the EA servers. And so if there's an issue on their end, it could create a problem for you. But whenever you utilize the two offline options at the bottom, you are saving those files to your system and you have ownership over those files, not EA. And so if there is an issue, it was caused on your system's end. And so therefore you have more control over that file and over what's going to happen to it. Now that's not going to say that your files are going to be completely free of errors, free of resets, free of corruption or anything anything like that. In the past, I have had files get corrupted by leaving a game improperly or having the thing crash or something like that. But there are ways that you can simply prevent that or work around that. Honestly, this is going to save you guys a ton of time if you've experienced any of these issues or you don't want to experience these issues. Just start up an offline franchise for your solo franchise. For the purposes of today's video, I'm just going to utilize the preseason roster. I'm going to hop into this franchise and show you guys one more step that you can do to make sure that you're not experiencing these issues. Now that we're in the franchise, you guys will be able to see the standard franchise layout. Nothing is super different between an offline franchise and an online franchise. You can create multiple characters for yourself, which is nice. It's a different aspect that not a lot of people are familiar with in franchise mode, but you'll see an option down at the bottom that you never see in an online franchise, which is click in the right stick for a save point. You can create a save point here. And so my recommendation to you is if you have had issues in your franchises with errors that Madden is giving you, go into offline and do your franchises here and create multiple save points. Typically what I do, this is the main auto save for this file, is I'll make a, a first save for this and I'll you know, title it Steelers 1 or something like that. Right now, I'll just call it Save 1 and create a save file.
file for that and then I simply go in I mean this literally takes 15 seconds I go back in and I create a save file backup at the same exact point so if one of the files gets corrupted the other one's going to be perfectly fine so this is going to be save one backup and then that's going to allow me to pretty much always have an additional file on hand in case an error were to happen to my franchise that's the big difference here if you are in a franchise mode in an online server there is no backup for your franchise and chances are EA is not going to be able to recover it if something happens to it in fact we are experiencing that issue right now with multiple franchises I don't know if you guys have seen the news or saw one of my most recent videos you guys should check that out if you have not but the server issues are affecting above 60% of all franchises whenever they had the issue between December 26th and 29th they decided to server patch it and after the patch even EA themselves were saying that only about 40% of all franchise files that were saved on the server were restorable or were accessible the other 60% were corrupted and they have yet to be able to fix those recover those whatever you want to say about it and so that's why I'm bringing you this video because it's happened to me. I've had other people comment and say that it has happened to them. I know that this isn't necessarily helpful for connected franchises, but at least you have an option to do a solo franchise, have some fun on the game and save it in a way that you are in control of the file and you're not dependent on EA. You're not dependent on their servers. You don't have to worry about an issue on their end affecting you in a massive negative way. And so, like I said at the beginning, of the video please leave a like down below if you found any of the information in this video useful comment and subscribe as i said in my 2023 update for the channel we're going to be trying to go back to the basics here wipe a clean slate and cover everything i possibly can that's going to be helpful for you guys in franchise mode and i think that this is one of the best starts that we can have because what better way to get a good start in a franchise mode than to make sure you have control of your own file and you're not facing massive errors. With that being said, like I said, leave all that feedback down below. Maybe check out my Patreon. In any case, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a good one.